Hi, welcome to a little bit of Common Crazy. Today I'm excited to share with you my Dollar Tree Fall Haul. So stick around. Hi, my name is Jennifer and my goal is to try to find more calm in all the crazy and put some order to the chaos. And so part of that for me is looking for good finds on a budget. And that is why I love the Dollar Tree so much. So I'm super excited to share with you the fall items that I picked up on my last visit there. So I'm gonna take you through, show you some things at the Dollar Tree, and then show you everything that I hauled myself. But before we get started, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you click that little bell, then that is how you get notified every time that I upload a video. Do you like to decorate for the holidays? I know that I do, but I like to do it on a budget. Well, my husband would prefer for me to do it on a budget. So I headed over to the Dollar Tree and I can't wait to show you all the great fall items that they have and let you see what I actually picked up. So let's head to the Dollar Tree. Seeing all the beautiful colors absolutely made me excited to decorate for the fall. I love that they have this mesh. If you are into, you can decorate with it, make wreaths with it, and you have all the different fall colors that you want. Now keep in mind when you're looking at just different holiday things that they have, if they work for other times of the year, you might want to snag them too. I just love looking around and seeing all the different items that they have that you can hang on your doors, you can put them on your windows, centerpieces. Burlap is so much fun, and that red burlap would be fabulous to have for Christmas time or even like the 4th of July. So here's magnetic words that would be great for the front of an appliance or even like a file cabinet or something. And I am not a big fan all the time of the Dollar Tree flowers, but these are beautiful and be super cute like in a mason jar or something. Here's a wall for it full of different decor. Absolutely love it. They do have six inch ribbon in different patterns I think is super cute. And they also carry the ribbon in a quarter inch that you can also get in different patterns. There are lots of different styles of pumpkins or they could be gourds. I'm not really sure what is what most I think of them as pumpkins and they come in different colors and different finishes so that you can find something that works for what you are looking for. So I think that is super great. Some of these are fragile and breakable and others you could toss around to your heart's content and they will be just fine. Now, just like anything at the Dollar Tree, if you see something that you like, you don't want to hesitate. You want to go ahead and go in and get it because the good stuff does disappear quite quickly. But also keep in mind that you can go on to DollarTree.com and order things from there. A lot of these items would make really great just regular home decor, but also some really cute DIYs that you will see coming up soon. I can't tell you how much I really enjoyed looking at all the different items. And I am not one that wants to get something just because it's a dollar. I want to find something that I actually think is cute and worth it. And I would much rather something cost a dollar but look more expensive. And I feel like I found several items just like that. Now, don't forget when you're looking at the fall, they also do have some really great Halloween items to look at. I tend to decorate more for the fall, but there are some super cute Halloween. So I had to show some restraint because there were a lot of really great items, but I know that I already have several fall items and I wanted to add to it. Let me show you exactly what I picked up myself. So the first item that I picked up was this sign. I think it will be super cute. It says, welcome to our patch, either in my flower bed in my front yard, or I might actually use it as part of the little setup that I put on my porch itself. I will take you through and show you all the different things and places that I decorate for the fall. So I will definitely have a video on that. So you will get to see how I use all of these things in the future. So I'm excited. I think this is super cute. I also like to decorate in three. So one of the items, well, three of the items that I pick up were these pumpkins, gourds. I'm not really sure I know the difference. So I got a brown one, an orange one, and a green one and what i like is that they are distressed and kind of a not kind of they're distressed in gold and i think that's really pretty and so i got these three to all go together i also picked up this cream one with a gold stem a gold one now these are breakable where's the last one? Oh, here it is and another gold one so i got these to also go together now what i like about this is that even though these are a little bit dressier than these, because of the gold on this, I feel like they still go really well together. So they won't be right next to each other in my home. They'll be definitely apart, 
but they won't clash with one another. It will still all come together and look, I think it'll look good still. So I'm, I'm excited about all of this. I am super excited to decorate my table for Thanksgiving. So a few of the items that I grabbed for that are, I grabbed three, well, actually I grabbed more than three, but they only had three different kinds, an owl, a pumpkin, and a scarecrow. And I grabbed a couple of each of these and I'm gonna use them for name, place, name placeholders placeholders and put, an, and put a name. So I'm gonna type out really pretty on a card and as you can see, this part comes out just a little bit so I can just stick it right inside and then sit this at the top of each plate. And I just think that will be really cute on my tablescape. Instead of going with chargers underneath, I know, I sound like I'm going a little bit overboard, but instead of going with chargers underneath our plates at Thanksgiving, I just think that the, I grabbed these pumpkins they had other options, but I'm a little type A, and so sometimes I like things to be a little bit matchy-matchy, and I definitely like symmetry in things. And so I needed it to balance, and so it was easier for me just to go ahead and stick with one. Plus, this kind of had that ovally shape, so really easy to stick a plate right in the middle. So I'm excited about these. I think that'll be a really cute table. I think my kids will find that super fun. So I think that'll be really nice. For my kids, I grabbed this little sign and it says, I am thankful for. During the month of November, I thought it would be a really good idea for them to write something that they are thankful for every day. And so each one of them can write something. That way they can all take their turns doing it. They all love to use chalk. So I think that it'll be really fun, but also really reflective for them to think about the things that they are thankful for. Cause it's really easy to get caught up in other things and not be aware of all the great blessings that we have. And I like them to pause and to think about the things that they are grateful for and thankful for. So I think this would be a really great thing to start and a really good tradition for our family to have. So I'm really excited to have this. Throughout the fall, I have my table all set up. I use a table runner and I have a box that has jars on it. So I picked this ribbon up to go on top of the table runner. I think this is super pretty. Again, that gold leafing which I like. I'm trying to take this off so I can show you a little bit better. They had several different options. I just thought that this would be just really pretty overlay on the table runner that I will have. It'll also look really pretty on Thanksgiving when I set the table up. If I wanna have this run down the middle of the table, I think that'll look really pretty over any sort of tablecloth or table runner. So I'm super excited to use that. The last item that I picked up was this package of metal letters. And the letters are Welcome, Thankful, and Harvest. And I do have a DIY project that will be coming up super soon that you can check out once it's up using these metal letters. But what a deal. I think getting three metal letters for only a dollar is a super great deal. So I am really excited to have these and I can't wait to show you that DIY. Are you grabbing anything from the Dollar Tree to decorate for the fall? I would love to know. Please share that with me in the comments below. I would love for you to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, please click that button and subscribe to my channel. I do post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.